sacrifice this army because I know that even if I lose them, hopefully I should be able to, with the, the money that I have, just completely rebuild in just a second. Let's take a look at how horrible this is. It goes down. Get a medivac there. A little couple shots here and there, but these medivacs and marines are going to clean up these stalkers, no problem. So I didn't even micro them, I didn't even try. Let's go back up here. And look at that. Because I had enough production structures, I was able to warp in eight units in one shot. And my money dropped right to the bottom. It doesn't even matter what units I want to make. It has nothing to do with counters. It has nothing to do with thought. It's just drop that money. Just turn it into units. And now I'm able to take out my, my army here, move forward a bit because I did scout with that uh, dropship a bit. Let's watch how this goes. Again, I'm not even going to terribly micro these guys that much because, well, I expect I can just rebuild. So, let's see how this goes. Okay, I'm bringing my units in. Guardian shield goes up. Just a little bit of micro there just to bring more of my units up. Not too much. Really. Now, notice my money's really climbing down. Now that's unfortunate. Ooh, I just dropped a bunch. Right here. Sorry. So I guess you knows my. I noticed that my money was really high. So instead of focusing on the battle, I just went back, built a whole bunch more units, and now I'm going to continue that push. So something that allows you to do that, just in case you're wondering how you're actually able to. Oh, and now I'm expanding again. If you're wondering how you're able to build units when you're not even really looking at it, you'll notice right here I have a bunch of oops, I just completely screwed that up. Okay. I have command groups. So using the control button, you can have all of your production facilities. For example, me, I have all my production buildings on seven. I have all of my nexus on six. So even when you're in a battle, you can just hit six Q. Six Q. And that'll just give you a worker every time, as long as you're on the grid. Uh, Good. I think we have focus fire with these medevacs because we're really good to um, And now my money is pretty high again, right? So let's see, I think I might do a warp in to spend that money. Let's see if I do. If I have the presence of mind for that. So again, I'm over a thousand, not too happy about that. But take a look at this. Now my money dropped basically right down to zero, just by one more bit. So that's the beauty of having, again, like I said, all these production facilities, all these production buildings. And I'm going to get these mined out probes down to my next expansion. Sorry, in the meantime, guys, I know uh, you didn't get to watch that, but uh, that small army there was able to mop up this expansion. And if you take a look at the army tab, look at the difference. He's got $4,000 in the bank, could be $4,000 worth of army, or minerals. Instead, it's all in the bank. What a shame. Whereas with, with my, my army, because I've maintained my macro, and I'm constantly building probes, as you can see, even my main nexus is now rallied down to my, exp my new expansion to really saturate that. But I'm able to really take that money, and here I dropped a whole bunch of sentries. I didn't build sentries because they're a great unit. I built them because I had lots of gas. That's basically it. So now again, I'm able to replenish my army very high. Let's take a look at the income. My income is way higher. And take a look at the harvester numbers. I've got 71. He has 26. Now I realize that's because I took out his expansions, but 71 is pretty good. And you notice that the number's still climbing, so I'm still building them. And look at that. I think I built like 9 there. 10. That's, that feels pretty good. So I looked at the supply right now and I realized that I'm almost at 200 so I figured, you know what, I'm just going to build a couple pylons and see if I can max out at 200 and then push. So I'm not even pushing yet. 
now he's going to try and expand again. But he's got so much money in the bank. And yet he's not producing out of his buildings. Very strange. Very, very strange. Anyway, so I'm almost at max now. 77 harvesters now on the board. And I've maxed, and I'm just going to go for it and see what happens. It shouldn't be too hard since he basically has a much smaller army. And even if he has an equal army, the beauty of this is that I just have to go back here, spend my money, you know. Or if you're a Terran player, you could uh, have your barracks, sorry, I'll let you see this. Uh, you could have your barracks all hotkeyed and then just um, rally them up into where your battle is. And then just, when you're in battle, you just hit 7 and hit uh, Q, 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 <laughs> and just make a whole bunch of rates, or whatever it is you want. But we'll take a look, but notice again, I've worked it up here, keeping my money nice and low, and Yardon has left the game. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope that helped. If you have any questions, um, maybe put them in the comment bar or the comments below. Uh, this whole thing's kind of new to me, so I don't know if I explained terribly well how to do it but again um, basically your focus for macro is constantly building workers constantly building supply be it um, pylons or overseers or supply depots um, expanding when you can you can expand when you have an army big enough or expand while you're attacking if you're able to multitask that well um, because you'll know he'll be busy um, yeah and just keep doing that and don't be afraid to build a lot of production structures you'll notice in this game again as we mentioned Yargon had a handful not too many and this is at the end of the game mind you um, whereas I had like 20 <laughs> well not not quite that much I've got like maybe 12 or 13 or something like that um, but if your money's getting high and you can't build units just keep this rule in mind. If your money's high, you can't build units, build production structures. Drop your money as low as you can, build lots of production structures, and then as soon as they're done, you're going to be able to double your army size very quickly. Okay? Um, other ways that you can spend your money during macro play, uh, doing research. Uh, I've got uh, one plus one attack, and one, sorry, one attack. I have one ground armor as well. Um, yeah, so don't, afraid to do your, don't be afraid to do your research at the same time. Expand when you can, transfer your drones, and build out of those m m multiple buildings. So I guess that's it, guys. Uh, again, if you have any questions, let me know. If you enjoyed watching me win with Macro, then please subscribe to the channel and like the video. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you next time when we have a new topic. Oh, also, if, um, if anybody wants to request seeing a mistake and the correction, please uh, feel free to post that in the comments. Or if you want to send me a replay, you can send it to sc2mistakes at gmail.com. So this is Agamemnon, and we'll see you next time.